Almost three months later, I've been staying consistent. I've lost about 17 pounds. I feel my heart is going full speed. I can't get a chair, put your hands on the chair, and then you're going to go down. Welcome back to a new video. Today, I will be sharing with you what I've been doing to lose about 17 pounds since the beginning of the year. Um, so if you're new here to my channel and this is the first video you stumbled upon, hello, welcome. My name is Carrie. Um, typically on this channel, I show DIY projects, homemaking style content, vlogs, things like that. So if you're interested in that type of content, make sure you subscribe before you leave. This video is just kind of something that has been highly requested since I've started to lose weight and some of you have noticed and have been asking for a fitness style video and I'm a little nervous to share because the algorithm will eat you alive <laughs> but um, it's worth the risk if I can help motivate you guys so I hope you enjoy um, first off disclaimer I'm not a doctor I'm not a fitness trainer a fitness professional I have no background in nutrition at all so please make sure to consult a professional before doing any workouts or diet plan or anything like that I'm just gonna share with you guys what I have been doing to lose weight and get fit and stronger so let's go ahead and jump right into it so I'm gonna go back to December and kind of just share with you where my mindset was in December and what kind of just like clicked for me I have tried so many different diets i've tried the egg diet i've tried keto i've tried low carb i've tried low just low calorie i've tried every diet under the sun trust me i've tried them i've done chloe ting workouts probably anything you've tried i've tried like i have went through my phase of just trying whatever would be quick like fast results and ultimately it never worked out which led me to at the end of december I was at 152 is how much I weighed. I'm 5'2 for reference and I'm uh, 30 years old. So that just gives you an idea of where I'm at. And my trouble area is my midsection. I gain a lot of weight in my lower belly. Um, ever since I've had kids, I feel like that's just where all my extra weight goes and in my cheek area, my neck. So, um, but anyway, so in December, I definitely felt tired exhausted I wasn't feeling my best um, I knew that I had gained weight all my clothes were not fitting I was having to buy new clothes to even go out because nothing would fit I would go to put on pants and they would be so skin tight I was literally busting over the edges it was it was tough and being someone that has always been fairly active it's hard when you start to feel so discouraged like nothing you're doing is working and like I said I tried all these fad diets they would work for a good two weeks and then I would fall off the you know fall off track and that was like the steady cycle which I think eventually led me to being at my heaviest weight the worst mindset I had ever been in this past year was in December I just felt awful to be honest I just felt tired groggy moody as heck um all the feelings that's how I felt so moving into January I actually had looked back at our year of finances and I realized we were spending a ton of money on eating out so this is kind of where it started I was like oh my gosh we spent way too much money eating out at fast food and just restaurants in general like we need to stop <laughs> so my husband and I were like we're not gonna eat out as much and we stopped grabbing convenient foods we stopped grabbing mcdonald's every other night and wendy's and grabbing dunkin donuts coffees all the time we started to make more food at home and i started to lose weight just from doing that granted at the beginning of the year i did get very sick i had bronchitis for almost a month it was awful and i really didn't have much of an appetite at that time either so that kind of helped jumpstart things just because I just didn't feel great and it was hard to eat because I was coughing so much but once I got better I started getting on my treadmill every single night I started walking on the treadmill for at least 30 minutes but my ultimate goal was to go three miles each time I hopped on that treadmill and some days were harder than others sometimes I was like I'm never gonna hit three miles I'm gonna faint and then sometimes I would hit three miles and I could keep going and I would walk for an hour. But I walked on my treadmill every single night and I still do. Every night at, after I tuck my kids into bed or just at a certain time in the afternoon, 
I go and I have my little me time. I get on my treadmill and I start exercising. I watch YouTube videos, respond to comments, or my husband and I will just like watch a movie on the TV while I um, walk. So walking, I think really helped tremendously because you don't realize how like underrated walking is until you start walking and you start to sweat after that 20 minutes, you really start to feel good. I then started doing little arm workouts here and there, um, lifting weights because I knew that I wanted to tone. I didn't just want to get skinny. I did want to start toning up as well as I was losing weight. So that way I didn't get just so thin and have no muscle tone. I, I didn't want to lose all my curves. I still don't want to lose all my curves. I want to keep the curves I got. I just want to tone up and look strong. That's the ultimate goal. But I started doing my little weight workouts every night as well. And once I got in a set routine and I was doing this on a regular basis, it was fine. I literally had no, I have no problem working out now. I actually enjoy it. It's nice because I get to have a little bit of quiet, put my headphones in. I get to just kind of not think about anything. Mom mode's kind of turned off for a good 20, 30 minutes and it's great. <laughs> so I do that. That's my version of self care, by the way. Like when I work out, that's me taking care of me. And I, for a little bit, I felt guilty sometimes. Like some nights I would feel a little guilty if I got on the treadmill instead of like, I don't know, doing like playing a board game or watching a show with the kids. But in order for me to pour into my family, I need to feel good. And this is my way of getting there and feeling good. So don't feel guilty, moms. If you're watching this and you're feeling a little guilty taking 20, 30 minutes to yourself, don't. If you're putting like effort into yourself to be a better mom, to be a better wife, a better person, don't ever for a second feel guilty for that. Seriously, because I get it. We all do, but you shouldn't. <laughs> um, the next thing is I don't deprive myself. I cannot tell you how many times I've tried these fad diets and I go so hard for like a week and I'm so healthy eating and then all of a sudden I just have this binge eat where I just eat so bad and then I fail and then in my mind I'm like oh I already failed I might as well have one more piece of pizza or what's one more day of fat eating gonna do and then it just becomes a ripple effect so this go around instead of depriving myself I'm eating what I want I don't calorie count I don't I don't measure my food or anything like that at all I swear to you guys I, I don't calorie count I've tried doing it once or twice um, about two weeks ago and it just it doesn't work out for me I am not good at it I feel like I get super discouraged or obsessed with it I'm better off just choosing healthier options myself and giving myself what I want just in moderation just eating less I can still eat McDonald's, I can still have a cookie, I can still have a piece of cake, I eat whatever I want, I just don't eat as much. And the key to doing that is drinking water before you eat whatever you're gonna eat and eating very slow, like mouse. Like you're literally taking little bites, you're gonna try to savor that flavor so it feels like you're indulging, but you're really not. You are eating slow, you're eating technically less, but you're still savoring it so it feels like you're getting more than you are. If I'm going, to have a rough day i just need to do even better the next day that's kind of like my mindset okay i'm gonna give myself two cookies but i'm gonna eat even healthier tomorrow and then the next day i'll do the same thing it's like it's a healthy balance um and i truly believe that that is the key to sustainable weight loss and a fitness journey you can't go into it cutting everything out you can't say hey i'm not gonna eat any sweets i'm not gonna have no processed sugar like oh my gosh you will go crazy Oh, and I wanted to tell you guys. So when I first started cutting out a lot of the unhealthy foods, like really did feel like I was craving the food as if I was addicted to it, especially Dunkin' Donuts coffees. Why? I don't know. <laughs> it's got to be the sugar in it because I love coffee, but there's something about a Dunkin' Donuts coffee that I literally will crave it. It's bad. And then I would work out and I'd be like, okay, I worked out, I'm doing good, I'm not gonna give in. And somehow I managed to stick it out and here I am. Almost three months later, I've been staying consistent, I've lost about 17 pounds. At this point, I'm not losing any more weight because I feel like I'm building muscle now. I've actually, I got down to 134 and I'm up to 135 now but i think i honestly think i'm just building muscle which i'm not mad about because i really want to get strong and fit i have like some fitness goals in mind i want to be able to do a pull-up 
um, by the end of May, I should be able to do at least two pull-ups. I've been trying really hard to work out my arms and like get stronger. And it's funny, we went to the park the other day and I got up on the little monkey bars and I thought for sure I'd be able to do a pull-up. You guys, <laughs> so hard. Pull-ups are so hard. I was like, <laughs> I couldn't do it. Um, it was funny though. I'll leave like a video clip right here. It was, it was way harder than I thought. And I thought maybe because I had been like working out, I thought, oh, I totally can get at least one. Absolutely not. I got a long way to go, but I will get it. And that is like a good goal to have. So at the end of the day, basically not depriving myself, staying consistent with walking and exercising, um, eating less, just choosing smaller portions has been ultimately what I've done. And it has been easy because like I said, I'm not depriving myself. I'm not sticking to a crazy crash diet. I'm not trying to just lose a ton of weight and just get super thin. I think that it's so hard to do that and maintain that lifestyle. And at the end of the day, you end up gaining it back and then some. This time around, I just feel like I've went into it with a way better mindset and it's working and I'm really proud of that. Um, and I hope that these before and after photos help motivate you guys too to just do the best you can. You don't have to be perfect at it. If you fail one day, you get up, you brush yourself off and you do better. Like that's all you can do. And um, yeah, I think you got this. If I can do it, you can do it too. Um, I did wanna include at the end of this video a quick little workout routine that I've been doing that I feel like has been helping. These are workouts that I actually do on a regular basis. They're not in the same order. Every day looks different for me. But I thought I would share some of my favorite workouts with you um, that I feel like are really helping shape my body and hopefully will continue to do so so I can be fit and strong for the summer. <laughs> That's my goal. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching. Um, here, I'll go ahead and include that workout. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is put on my ankle weights. These are two and a half pounds. I got these from Walmart. They're really inexpensive. So I strap these on my ankles and I'm gonna show you guys the leg workouts I've been doing. Now that I got my ankle weights on, what I do is I do kickbacks. So I do 10 on each side, then I go in with the side. So I go one, two, three, all the way up to 10. Then I do the opposite side. So I always do both sides, 10 reps each. Another workout that I really love is like ab workouts, standing abs. These are awesome. I feel like they really target my lower belly. I love the way that these feel. And once you get going, I feel like you really start to sling your leg up and you really start to feel it. Squat, kick, squat, kick. This works not only your legs, your butt, so I have 10 pound dumbbells here and these are the typical workouts that I would do. So I start with them down like this. I go up like that. And I do 10 reps with all the workouts, like I said. So I do those. I also will hold them here and do these. I don't know what they're called, but this is what I do. Putting the weight behind your head and just going like this. Then you can also add, you know, extra to it if you want. I still have the ankle weights on. And this is also a killer. <laughs> One of my favorites is what I call um, the lawnmower pull. <laughs> it's like you're trying to crank a lawnmower up like this. Crank that lawnmower. <laughs> you get on all fours and then you do Kickbacks like this, or donkey kicks, I think these are called. And you can do these too. And I feel like this works your ab muscles a little bit more when you're on all fours versus standing, but either ones, they work great. You get a chair, put your hands on the chair, and then you're gonna go down and up. To make it a little harder, put one leg out. Same thing on the other side. This, I swear, is the hardest one for me. I don't know why, but like the back of my arms has like no muscle there. Hi. Hi. So you don't have to have weights for this. 
Um, but I put my hands on the back of the ball like this, legs out, and then you're gonna pull in, out. Just holding yourself still without like falling backwards is a core workout by itself, but then adding the extension like that is, whew, it's a killer. It's good though. And of course, with walking on the treadmill, eating healthier, all of that has played a big part in the weight loss. Okay, so a lot of you have been asking about the treadmill that I use. So I got this from Amazon. I've had it for about six months now. I love it. I absolutely love it. I think it's great. It does the job. Um, the only thing that I don't, that I, w I wish it had, I don't mind that it doesn't have it, but I wish it did have was incline. However, I'm cool with it the way it is. It's fine. Um, so it does fold up pretty small. It's easy to move. It's, it's kind of on the lighter side for a treadmill, considering that they're like really heavy. Um, it has like a sleek design to it. It doesn't look like huge and bulky or anything, so I like that. It does have this little thing. This pops off if you want it to. Um, we also have the screen here, which is very simple. You just hit play, and it counts down. And then it starts going. You have your uh, speed right here. There's also a button to turn down the volume. I don't know where it's at, but there is an option to turn off the volume. So... You just press this up and you get all the way up to your speed. You have your time, your distance, and your calories burned, and also your steps. There's different modes as well, um, so you can do, I don't know what these do, to be honest, because I don't, um, I don't know what this does. <laughs> I never use that. There's like a programming button as well. I don't use none of that. I simply just, I turn on the treadmill, I hit play, I get up to four, um, 4.5 speed, and then I walk for 30 minutes or jog and run and try to get to three miles. So that's what I typically do. It has your little heart rate um, monitors right here that you can hold on to. It did come with a clip, so this does clip onto you. But I have children. <laughs> and it got lost, so I have no idea where the clip is. So I just leave it like that. Which, I don't really run that often, and if I do... I'm pretty careful, so I'm not too worried about it. And if I go to fall off, I'm going to hit the wall, so it'll be fine. <laughs> but that's it for today's video. I'm winded now. <laughs> I need to get some water. Um, but thank you guys so much for hanging out. I hope you enjoyed. Stay tuned for my next video later on this week, and I will see you then. Bye, y'all.